Good evening YouTube, welcome back to the Lumberjack Engineering Workbench. And tonight, I have a question for you. Do you ever feel like, no matter how hard you try, things in your life just seem to slip away? And no matter how hard you try, there's parts in your life that you just can't get a good grip on. Well, tonight, I have the solution. this 3D printed lamp. Wait, you thinking this was going to be some deep philosophy discussion? What do you think this channel is called? Lumberjack preaching? So what's going to happen is that we're going to cut shortly to a time lapse of these parts being printed and then after that we'll come back and look how or take a look at how they were assembled and why I made the decisions I made about settings and filament color and then we'll just talk about some of the uses for this lamp. So I'll see you in just a minute. So here are the parts that you guys just saw get printed over on my DIY Ultimaker, which is sitting right over there. And so now we're going to go ahead and assemble these parts. So we can just take our uh, threaded shaft with a knurled knob, which actually came out really nicely. Some pretty small detail on that. And take that and go ahead and thread it into the main body of the clamp. If I can focus here. And we can take our actual faceplate, and what I found works really well is just to continue threading that in until you hit the end of the clamp and snap it into place just like that. Now, I did have to actually take a couple tries at printing this threaded shaft here. Unfortunately, as it came, uh, or at least the raw 3D model had this shaft scaled a little too large for this fit here. 
And so I went ahead and scaled it down by 2% in the X and Y direction, which as it was printed was like this. So it shrunk it this way and this way by 2%. And it is a much looser fit now. Uh, before it was very hard to turn. Uh, had I, I should say, could I do it again, which I really could, but I'm not. Uh, I would actually just scale this by 1% because you can see it's a little bit loose. However, that doesn't actually affect the functionality here because this clamp, uh, this frame will bend long before you start slipping on the screw back here. So it's still in a totally functional clamp. This was printed in the Glow in the Dark Hatchbox PLA. Uh, like all Hatchbox stuff I've used, I really like it. Um, it does look kind of funny because why would you print a Glow in the Dark clamp? That's actually just the material that I currently have on hand. I actually tried tape or printing this originally in this black material I have, and this is just a um, an, another company that I wasn't super impressed with this filament to start with, and so I never really used much of it. So I have like two spools of it that I have sat in my apartment for about a year now and have absorbed all sorts of sorts of moisture. Um, and have become pretty terrible. Uh, wasn't great to start with, but it's a whole lot worse now. Um, you can see I've got some voids. Focus here. Yep, all over the edges here. Um, when I went to remove the brim from the print, it actually pulled off the bottom three layers of the threaded shaft. And you can see that the infill is very inconsistent. Um, this bottom I can just leave indentations with my thumbnail uh, so and it probably weighs about half as much as this hatchbox one does and they're printed using the exact same settings however this is just bad filament that has only gotten worse with time so can't really blame really the company nor my printer for that it's just that it really just should be thrown away at this point but this did turn out great, and now I'm going to cut, or I should say shortly, I'll cut away to some action shots of this clamp being used around the apartment. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to take a moment to remind you guys to subscribe, which is uh, that button down there. Uh, hit the thumbs up button on this video, which is right there. Not the thumbs down, which is over here. Not that one. Nope, nope. Right here. And then also remember to... Uh, like I said, subscribe to me here on YouTube, but also on Instagram, where you can find me under Lumberjack Engineering as well. So with that, have a great day, guys.